India was introduced to the mighty Thar in 2010 as a successor in the lineage of the iconic jeeps assembled by Mahindra. It also introduced India to the concept of self-inflicted off-roading as a thrill-seeking adventure activity as opposed to the compulsion imposed by our road infrastructure. It has since then catered to many such fanatics but now the Thar CRD has been overhauled and Mahindra seemed to think that it's an even more potent weapon. But are we going to take Mahindra's word for it? Not really, because we've come to Mahindra's off-road test facility in Igatpuri to find out if the new Thar really is that good. Now, clean Thar really wouldn't look its part, would it? But don't worry, we've just worked it enough to get it mucky and dirty. Now it looks like a real Thar. Right, let me take you through the changes that Mahindra have made to the exterior of the Thar. You have new headlights in the front, you have a new side step for easy ingress and egress out of the car, which is a good addition because this is a tall car after all. And you also have new bumpers both at the front and at the back. Now, unlike the previous edition, which had metal bumpers, this time Mahindra have gone in with hard plastic. Now, don't worry, it doesn't look all that great, but it is very functional. It's going to take all those hits that you're going to uh, your off-road course is going to throw at it. In fact, you won't even need a bull bar. Now, this is the sort of effect that luxury off-roaders across the world have had on Mahindra. And the new Thar kind of epitomizes that. Speaking of which, let me show you what the new Thar looks like on the insides. And herein lies the biggest turnaround for the Thar. No longer are you thrown back into the 1950s when you entered the Thar's cabin. The new cabin is almost unrecognizable with its smart beige and black layout. Sure, it's still quite spartan, but it now looks smarter, especially with the new three-part instrument cluster and the chunky steering wheel lifted off the new Bolero. There's even a lockable glove box and cup holders now. Of course, it wouldn't be a Thar without some quirks, but you're almost entirely likely to overlook all these whims the moment the Thar does what it does best. Now, of course, the Thar continues to have a few niggles here and there. The build quality isn't really perfect, but it is a huge improvement from what it used to be. Now, you've seen what the insides are. I mean, it's a huge change. Enough for your discerning non-off-roading spouses to not mind as much as they used to when you told them that you were considering buying the Thar. The 106 PS 247 Nm engine and the transmission are almost completely unchanged in the new Thar because while well, Mahindra claimed their customers didn't want them to mess about with it. Nonetheless, the new dashboard has certainly reduced the NVH levels quite substantially and the new Thar now sounds and feels much more refined. So the mechanical addition that Mahindra are talking about is essentially a mechanical automatic self-locking differential. Now the way differentials generally work is that when a wheel is spinning it tends to send the power to that one wheel so that you don't get mechanical losses. But in off-roading you need the torque to be sent to the wheel that is actually that actually has traction. And a, a locking differential essentially does that. So if you're stuck in any situation like this one, it's actually that lockable differential that's going to get you out. The metal wheel arches have been hollowed out to better accommodate the 16-inch Bridgestone tyres and even the larger Maxxis tyres that you see on our vehicles. The other thing that is very unthar like is that the position of the steering wheel is no longer offset to the left. It has been centered, but the ergonomics are still far from perfect. The reposition handbrake, when engaged, fouls with the gear lever set in second or fourth. Now the car continues to have a fantastic approach and departure angle. So the approach angle is at 44 degrees, and the departure angle is about 27 degrees, which means that it can really just power through everything 
without hurting the underbelly too much. Whether it was steep muddy inclines or bonnet deep water crossings, the new Mahindra Thar sailed through begging for more of a challenge. As far as off-road fun in a stock vehicle goes, it really doesn't get much better than this. Now through the various generations of the Thar, there have never been any doubts regarding the Thar's off-road capabilities. But here's the deal, now with all the endowments and its added capabilities with the lockable differential, the new Thar is going to cost you about 8 lakh rupees ex showroom. Now this for a car that is still quite spartan when you compare it to its contemporary on-road counterparts, this is quite steep, but then the real question is, how much of a fanatic are you?